Hi everyone, this is Akwe from FigureOut.com, and today we are doing a tutorial on Adobe After Effects. And most of us must have been seeing all these cool title plates that come up before a movie starts, or so even in between the intros and all that. You know, some of them in 3D, the the animated and motion, the motion and all that. They have text layers, so they have some other green elements in them. They look so cool and so nice. Most of those intros for either a film or a tutorial or whatever it is they use them for, or even adverts, uh, most of them are being done with Adobe After Effects, and that's why it's a cool software to learn. You know, so today we're going to be doing a tutorial on, on Adobe After Effects, and this is it. We're in Adobe After Effects right here, CS4. That's the one I'm using there, CS5 and CS6 right now. Uh, you might want to get the latest one, but I like CS4. Alright, so we're in Adobe After Effects CS4 right now. And one thing you have to get to know first is to understand the workspace you have around there in Adobe After Effects. Over here is where you have your project um, window. Here it arranges your compositions and your solids and every other element it is you bring into After Effects. It arranges it at this point. And here you have your tabs, your file, edit, composition, layer, effect, effect, animations, view, window, and help. Here is your, here is your comp window. Everything you do is being viewed over here at the comp window. And down over here is where you have your layers. Every single thing you, you, you pick or you work on, they stay here in your layers and you can rename every single thing you have there. And over here is your timeline. We get adjust what comes when and where and what exactly is keyframed or not. Over here you have your object viewer, your document object viewer. Yeah. Every thing you work on on your layer here gets to show over here in the object or document viewer so you can get to like change some little settings there very fast. And if you come over here is effects and controls every effect you add to any layer pops up here so you can get to like reset the effect and all that then here you have your switches you have your 3d switch you have your blur switch and you come over here you see toggle switches and modes here it takes you over to your mode it's just like you've ever been to photoshop before see it's the same thing almost the same thing though you have more here normal dissolve darken multiply color burn hard overlay and soft light you actually do that in after effects as well you can overlay um elements on backgrounds and, and all that so and here yeah, yeah is to magnify to change the size or magnify your comp window and all that and over here is for the title save uh, action save grid it's just for grids majorly yes to help you with your text whenever you're working and here you can set your resolution to either full half toward quarter or custom or even auto set it so yeah you can cut uh, and get a transparent background you toggle the transparency yeah you can have your active camera in 3d this helps a lot if you're working with a 3d layer you can actually change your camera view in order so you can view it from different angles so basically that is everything you have here so we want to start up something in um, adobe after effects like Let's see if we can recreate what it is we have here. See, this is cool. The text comes in, stays for a while and goes out. And when it's going out, it fades away. You know, this is cool. Let's see if we can recreate this. Um, the same thing you just saw here in a new composition. So what you do is, first of all, create a new composition. And let's name it um, Test 2. Presets. I usually use NTSC DV. You know, some of you might prefer PAL. You know, there a whole lot of settings here you might want to work on. So, check the preset that it is best for whatever it is you're doing, and 
just that and over here i'm working with a width of 720 and a height of 480 sometimes i work with 1280 to 720 it depends on whatever it is i'm producing and it's at 29.97 frames per second you know, sometimes i could just change it to 24 frames per second and yeah you have your new comp if you come over here you see the current time it actually shows the time of your timeline in our comp settings we set it to be 10 seconds and here you can toggle it from being um showing the time to showing the frames you just hold down control and you click you click and it shows you the frames different settings so now we have our new composition test two here is the comp window here is our uh, layer so yeah we have our layers here and over here in this dock we have our timeline here's a layer dock here's a timeline dock now the first thing we want to do is to create a new solid and uh, you go to layer new sorry layer new solid come over here make comp size yeah we're going to make a deep red solid you want to change the color you come over here click that come over here and you change your colors but i want a deep red color because we're trying to recreate what it is we saw in the last um example so make comp size and we click ok it's going to make a solid that would come out in the exact comp size that we've set and we can rename this deep red solid let's say to background right click on it and come down to rename and you write background and you press enter and there it is has been renamed to background now we have to make this background look a little bit more fun you know a little bit much fun and much more catchy and exciting like that so what we do is to create a mask around um, our solid so what we do is go over here actually over here we have our selection tool we have our pan tool or the hand tool we have the zoom tool we have the rotation tool we have the camera tool we have the pan behind tool we have a lips tool and has a drop down of other tools too we have our pen tool here our text layer our brush our clone step our eraser <coughs> sorry about that and our puppet pin our puppet pin tool all right so here we need an ellipse um tool because that's the mask we're going to be trying so we come over to this angle here on your top left corner yeah top left corner you click down on it and you drag down to get a perfect ellipse that you know touches every angle and you let go you release all right so down here in your layer dock you see under the background you know the more uh, the layer has been open you know you see all uh, the other child under it and you see mask mask one because that's what we've created you, sc you open that as well and it opens other options under the mask one so what you do is try to feather it out you go to mask feather and we feather out our mask down like that then we we'll go to mask expansion and we we'll increase expansion of the mask and we'll go over here mask feather and feather it some more and there let's see you can feather it some more good and there you have it let's close this let's close this up just click somewhere it's V on your keyboard to give you your selection to and click somewhere around there in your comp window to get rid of the marks there and you have the a nice looking background you know you have a nice looking background there all right now the next thing you have to understand is when it comes to Adobe After Effects and most of the things people do know Adobe After Effects has to do with keyframing you tell what element to come in at what time and to leave at what time to do what at what time and to do and to go where at what time so we're going to be practicing keyframing right now so what we do is just let's put a text layer here right here on our solid 
come here and actually I'm using a font called copper plate gothic bold I got it from a site I think 1001 fonts download yeah 1001 fonts download .com. you can check them out yeah so I'm going to type um, this is cool isn't it cool yeah then you go over to your selection tool and what you do is come over to this point hold down your mouse hold down shift and drag just to increase the size of your text and release first and there you have it and you can drag your text layer to any point it is you want it in your composition or I want it there to want it to be there at the center now the basic animation we want to create here is for the text layer to be outside the comp at the beginning of the animation then it runs inside the comp stays there for a while and goes out but while it's going out we want it to gently fade away now you want to change the color if you want to change the color of your text layer uh, you could actually just come over here to the object viewer and basically just click here and, and change the color see I can easily preview it as we're changing the color but I just want to stick to white yeah. Helps better. Another thing you can do is select your layer and go to effect, generate, fill. There, it's on your effect panel. Then you can change the color. Number. Press OK, and there it is. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete that. I'm not using an effect here right now. I'll just basically stick to using my object viewer for now all right so now we have our text in it so what do we want to do we want the animation to start with the frame empty and then our text slides in stays for a while and slides out and while it's sliding out it fades away now what we we'll do is come over to the text layer here and drop down the arrow you have there go under the transform option drop it down here you have your anchor point that's at the point where your text rotates from you have your position tells you wherever it is you want to position your text and all that scale this actually increases the size or reduces the size of um your layer you can actually keyframe that to on rotation you can keyframe that as an opacity opacity has to do with you know what opacity is so when it fades in you know, when, when when it fades out and all that all right so basically the animation we just explained would only have to deal with the position and the opacity because it's sliding in it's staying and sliding out that's the positioning then when it's sliding out wants to just gradually fade away that's opacity so what we're going to do is uh, having our current time indicator staying here at zero we would go over to the position um, let me call it an attribute go to the Z the X sorry the X um, axis value here and just drag it backwards while dragging it backwards you see our text layer is going out of our composition it's going out and there it is it's out completely so what we need to do is come over here at the back of the word position you see this stopwatch looking kind of image here yeah that's the keyframe it's you click it and it automatically creates a keyframe at that point it automatically creates a keyframe at that point so what do we do we move over to just half way to a second and we drag we go over to the x uh, value and we just drag it forward bringing our text layer back inside the comma we drag it to the point where we want it to be and there it is and automatically it creates a keyframe for it there now we want it to just slide in gradually and get its position you know it's ease now what do you do you select these two keyframes you select these two keyframes right click go to keyframe assistant and uh, easy ease or you can just hit f9 over there so it easily eases the animation in 
and out all right now we've already taken care of the text coming in now we want it to stay there for a while right so what we do is just drag this forward a bit just by a frame let's drag it forward a frame then we we'll come over here right down to the back still on the position line after your keyframe image you go back there yeah there you can just click at the middle and it adds another keyframe at that point so which means between this keyframe and this keyframe the image or the text or whatever it is the layer is going to stay at that point now we want it to move out at this point so what we do is go forward in our timeline let's say at this point we want it to be out so we go over to our x um, value again and we just drag forward till we have it completely out and there it is we've created the animation we are looking for you hit your space bar on your keyboard and plays back and there it is isn't that cool now that's cool all right the next thing we have to work on is um the opacity we said we want it to gradually fade out as it's going so what we do is let's see at this point it's already living at this point right good uh we'll keyframe the opacity at this point here everyone is going to see it, so it's going to be 100 percent then we'll keyframe it and we move just a frame let's say two frames forward yeah and we change the value to zero press enter and there it is so let's easy he's this too f9 sorry all right so you hit um f9 get the easiest keyframe or you could just right click um on it and go to keyframe assistant yep easy is f9 all right so another thing we did here was um to trim our comp to work area yeah, so all right so let's just play this over from the beginning it's um space bar on your keyboard and you can watch the intro play over all right so yeah we have it there now um after effects is actually a very nice um software you know they use it to build intros for games all those super game intros you see most of them are being done in after effects and all these adverts you see on tv you know those very classy cool looking digital adverts you see on tv most of them are being done with after effects and even some basic effects you see in movies major future movies around you know most of the effects done there can be done with adobe after effects and some of them are actually done in adobe after effects so it's actually a very nice software to learn you know, know that i have some basic examples i can show you here of um stuffs that you can do after effects here is an opening title sequence uh i think it's just still another one here as well so cool stuffs they very very cool stuff so if you stick to learning adobe after effects you do way better than all this figuredout.com is going to be producing a dvd series that will put you through everything from the beginners uh, from the beginners level to the intermediate and to every level it is you need to be down to the pro level so you might want to stick around check the website at www.figuredout.com uh, to know about all that and also like them on facebook and follow them on twitter and check the youtube channel as well for um free tutorials you know basically yeah you've made your intro and your animations and all that but it's not going to stay inside after effects you will want to render it out so what you do is um go over to composition and add to render queue there it um pops up in your rendering dock and you come over here to the output module click on lossless and you go over to format and click a format to use there are a whole lot of formats here 
another boy I just stick to quick time movie it's easier to render and all that then come over here under video I'll put you click format options and yeah basically your default stays at animation but I just change mine to photo JPEG so it renders with ease and faster than quality best and I click OK and click OK and we're ready to go output to you click that to and there you can change the name and change wherever it is you want it to um, go to once you're done once you're done you come over here and click render and by the time you click render it renders up um, to wherever it is you sent it to and then you can play it for everyone to see this is cool isn't that cool you just made your first animation now the way after effects all right this is your first step to making big and uh, big and cool animations and intro so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and once again go to fikidout.com and check this site there are a whole lot of things you would learn from the website and also go to facebook that's one place where you can get to monitor the activities on the site well and also follow them on twitter follow them on twitter and you get to get all the feeds you need to know